Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Be Inspired. This is a video series that I'm doing where I'm featuring women that are making a difference with their gifts and their talents to help others live better. And it is absolutely my pleasure and joy to introduce you today to Kathy Boone Black. Kathy and I met in a networking group here in the Indianapolis area. We became fast friends. She has such a powerful story to share with you today. So I'm going to move right ahead and introduce Kathy. So Kathy, welcome and good to see you this morning. Yes, you too, Liz. And thank you so much for having me. Um, I love to be able to share my story and, and share my experiences to help people. Yeah, wonderful. Well, tell us a little bit about your family, where you live, and uh, give us a little bit of that background. Absolutely, sure. I live in uh, Westfield, Indiana, and mm -hmm. I have an office in Carmel. And uh, I'm married to my husband of 27 years, almost 27 wow. years. Wow, we have nice. Three children and four grandchildren. Fabulous. So, um, just, Great. You know, with love in our life, my husband just retired, and I don't think I'm ever going to retire because I love what I do. But, uh, <laughs> but I can do my work from anywhere because I do a lot of virtual work plus in, in office work. So right. We'll Wonderful. Travel. <laughs> yes. Great. And that's such a blessing when you have that kind of time freedom, you're still able to serve and, uh, and have your time freedom too. I think that's fabulous. So, well, I really want to jump ahead. So we have plenty of time for you to tell us. Um, I know your story, but I'd love you to share the life event that really catapulted you into what you're doing today. Absolutely. Sure. I uh, started out having panic attacks when I was six years old. My grandfather died suddenly in his sleep. And I had just spent a week with he and my aunt. And uh, it just threw me for a loop. Uh, so I started worrying that I was going to die. Uh, he died in his sleep, taking a nap. And from that point on, I was just really scared of dying, especially when I would sleep. So I missed a lot of my sleep. Uh, I was just afraid of everything as a child. I missed a lot of school. And I had, you know, my parents took me to doctors, but back then, uh, back in the 60s, you know, they really didn't know panic and anxiety. So I had every brain scan, body scan, six hour glucose tolerance test, uh, blood work, everything. And the specialist after specialist couldn't find anything wrong with me. So here's medicine, go home. They didn't know what to do with me. Wow. So after I, uh, you know, missed, I, throughout school, I missed a lot of school, uh, missed a lot of life. When I graduated high school, I thought, you know what? I am going to have to find out what's going on. Cause I didn't want to live the rest of my life like that. Mm -hmm. So I was introduced to a, a psychiatrist at the IU med center, downtown Indianapolis. Dr. Hannes Gross, and he introduced me to hypnosis, taught me self-hypnosis, and I had never felt so relaxed in my life. It was the first dot that was connected to what might be going on with me. Wow. And I got into a cognitive behavior therapy group that was teaching me that my thoughts were creating the feelings in my body, which was another dot connected. Mm -hmm. And then I just started studying the brain and body and how it works. And with all three of those things, I got better. Wow. So it really uh, catapulted me into what I do now. Great. Well, on that note, share a little bit um, with us what that looks like, how you are serving others with your practice, what, what something like, what that looks like. Sure. Um, like I say, I, I've been working virtual for several years because I have out of town clients. I also see clients here in my office. Uh, but what I do, Liz, is I really believe that there are emotions at the base of everything that happens to us. So I really work in my, when in my practice here, I work to get back to the emotional reason of why it's happening in the first place. Because I feel like when you heal that, when you clear that up, you're really healing from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Instead of, for me, uh, medicine, I just did not want to be on medicine the rest of my life mm -hmm. to be able to cope with life. Because I feel like, you know, and I'm not, you know, it's not against medicine, but for no. me, it was like, I wanted to heal from the inside. I wanted to know why instead of just taking the pill to not feel it. Right. So I work with, I, I'm certified in a lot of modalities that I feel like will help 
come to this so that I can teach people tools and resources and strategies also. Mm -hmm. But I work with hypnosis, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm certified in NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's the language of the brain and little exercises that you can do uh, to help you look at things in a different way. Also, uh, a tapping sequence, which is called Faster EFT, which is very wonderful. I use it with everyone that comes in here. Mm -hmm. I'm also certified in the emotion code. I, uh, it's a, it's a energy work to get back to the emotions another way. Mm -hmm. Um, also I'm a certified reflexologist. So when people come in in pain, I can work with them, showing them on their hands where they can work for pain. I also use wow. essential oils, um, to work with that too. And, and for relaxation, Yeah, so lots of ways to relax and, um, I really specialize in anxiety. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether it's ang the anxiety of just ang anxiety or if it's, I find that everything that people come in here to work for it all boils down to anxiety, whether it's addictions mm -hmm. or whether it's going in for surgery. I have a program that I do two weeks before people go in for surgery um, that helps them go through surgery. In fact, I've got a lady in surgery right now. I had another lady in surgery yesterday. So, Fantastic. Uh, you know. right. Um, so anyway, I'll, I also take my skills and go in. I'm a doula. I am a birth coach. Right. Yeah. So. Interesting. That's great. Yes. That's so, um, I love the whole idea, like you said, of helping people through surgery because so many people that anxiety, oh, they're going to have something done. And then to help that, obviously that's got to help with their outcome and their healing. If they're going into it, feeling calmer, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, you know, I, I've been using sur uh, hypnosis for surgery since 1988. And that's why I got into that because it made such a huge difference in my outcome. Um, because I came out of, um, because of my anxiety, it, uh, a lot of times anxious people are very sensitive. So sensitive mm -hmm. to a lot of medications. So a little bit goes a long way for me. I did not know that in the very first surgery I ever had. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't do well. And when I was getting ready to have my second surgery, my therapist said, you know, we're going to make a cassette tape back then. You'll listen to it <laughs> and, the surgery and uh, it'll be different. And I did. And it was. Right. And so I love it. The lady, uh, I had a lady yesterday that uh, had hip surgery mm -hmm. yesterday morning. And she emailed me at nine o'clock last night and said, hey, just want to let you know, I'm doing great. I feel comfortable. I, I, you know, I feel great. And one of the colors that we worked with was lavender. And she said, my, my hospital gown was even lavender. Oh, so, I love that. <laughs> it was, uh, it was just, it was really great to hear from her at nine o'clock last night. So oh, that's wonderful. That's yeah. cool. And just on a note, I miss those cassette tapes. Don't you? <laughs> no, I mean, no. you know, just, oh, man, yes, absolutely. I know. I know. I know. Well, Kathy, that's so great. And I just, um, you are just such a, a blessing, um, to the world with what you are doing. And, um, and I love our, our friendship. And yeah. so I like to kind of wrap up to just take some time and share with us, with our audience, what are three things that, um, from your perspective that people can do to help them live better? Sure. The first thing is pay attention to your breath. Because when we get anxious, our breath gets shallow and then, and our brain follows our breath. So when you can take those deep belly breaths and the three of them, there's something about three that the brain loves. So when you take that deep inhale in and you get that deep, that air deep down into the bottom of your lungs. And as you exhale, the exhale actually triggers something in the brain that triggers on the parasympathetic nervous system. Wow. You can just become more calm and relaxed. Mm -hmm. So whenever you start feeling anxious, pay attention to your breath. If it's short and shallow, take some long, deep breaths. Three, take a deep breath in, hold it for a few seconds. So you get a good gas exchange in your lungs and then let it out. The second thing that I want to say is try to think about looking at the other side of anxiety and, and notice in your body where you're, because a lot of times we're like this. And then all of a sudden we don't even realize that our shoulders are in our ears because we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders and neck. So just be aware of that and just look at the other side of it and say, okay, if this is anxious, let's just let this down. 
let's let this be calm and relaxed. Mm -hmm. And do that with any part of your body. Just notice where you're holding tension. Right. And the other thing, the third thing that I'm going to say that I think is so powerful, write it down. I am constantly encouraging my clients to get out a legal pad and just start writing everything that's in your brain, every word. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And then you'll just find that every word that you're thinking, put it on paper. Sometimes I can write six or seven pages. At least when we get it out of here, it's out of here and it's on paper. And then we can go back and read it. And a lot of times, oh, that doesn't seem so bad when we're reading it here. You know, what we focus on here gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. Well, wow. Three amazing, amazing suggestions. I love it. And yeah, the breathing, the tension and writing it down. I know for me, the writing it down part, I will let stuff stay in my head and think and then just it is, it's sitting down and just getting stuff out. And like you said, you can go back and read it and then it helps you digest through things. So yes, yes. Kathy, this has just been a delight. And to all of our, to everybody here viewing is I'll have Kathy's contact information. I'll put that in the comments. And so you'll be able to reach out to her. It's been a delight, Kathy. And I know I'll be seeing you soon. Yes, thank you, Liz. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.